It was an inspiring morning of peace and hope as the Giving Hope Foundation honored local humanitarian Imtia Suleiman, founder of the Gift of the Givers, at its launch event held at the Riverside Hotel. The newly formed organization officially established itself amongst guests made up of high-profile businessmen and women, various community and social organizations, and members of the media. PRO Roy Sukdev said the foundation was formed after the July unrest, especially after it had tarnished the image of Phoenix and surrounding areas. The purpose of the organization is to encourage peace-building and social cohesion in schools and workplaces. Sukdev said he had contacted Suleiman to assist in repairing rundown schools in the Phoenix area. He immediately responded to the plea and is assisting 10 schools. Roy Sukdev spoke to the Rising Sun. The Giving Hope Foundation is being officially launched today. It's a two-fold event. We're launching our organization uh, where we're going to be you know, uh, unfolding our peace activities, education in schools and business houses. And more importantly, is to acknowledge Dr. Imtia Suleiman, uh, the great humanitarian, and you know he is our first uh, Peace Award recipient. Uh, we are very grateful to him for allowing us this opportunity and you know with a positive uh, encouragement from the guest here today uh, with a very successful fundraising I think it augurs very well for the future with our activities and this cannot be done alone it has to be done with the participation and involvement of the communities doctors businesses etc. Suleiman said he was honored to receive the inaugural peace award which was specially handcrafted out of Tabuti wood by Rajiv Singh, son of Kuber Yadev Singh. I'm very appreciative of this effort by the Giving Hope Foundation to set up the first International Peace Award for Gift of the Givers and myself. I, I have special tribute to Mr. Roy Sukdev, an elderly gentleman as part of this organization, who has shown great resolve, who has shown commitment to bring about peace and harmony in his own community and has shown me at his age that he cares for people, the commitment and dedication to see people uplifted. Every time there was an issue in the Phoenix area, he would call, say the children need help, they need uniforms, they need food, the schools need to be built up. But he never asked for money. He always said, we will raise the money and put it in your organization, although he's got his own organization, and that money you can use towards the schools. Yes, obviously we had to add quite a bit of money to that, but that's what we do. But just his attitude, his approach, and the fact that he came award, you know, to set up the system of this award, I'm really, really grateful to him and his committee and the people of Phoenix. To me, it's a means of building bonds with people in all suburbs, in all areas, in the city and throughout the country. An auction of paintings by renowned artist Nanda Subban was also held to raise funds for the Giving Hope Foundation. An amount of 260,000 rands was raised for projects that have already been earmarked by the organization. You are encouraged to save water and electricity. This news broadcast was brought to you by the Rising Sun Digital Team.